So this all season pack, it's pretty nifty. It comes with a couple tackle boxes. It holds most of my panfish tackle. Uh, the side compartments, it's just a little mesh side compartments here that it's good for holding players and other tackle and things like that. It's got this stand that can set up higher. It makes it easier to see when you're sitting up on your bucket or you can keep it down low and prop it up on something. But to store it, you put it in the low, on the lower setting, zip it up. It's got the nice handle you can carry. When I'm hole hopping, I'll tuck this flap behind or underneath the handle. That way when I want to move, I can just grab it and go. Just over a year now and haven't had any issues with it. It's worked pretty well, helped me catch some fish. Uh, the only complaint is that the screen is kind of small, so it's hard to see at any distance. But other than that, I haven't had any issues. I got a fish coming up. I'll be right there. So I'm fishing in just shy 17 feet of water. I'm gonna be dropping my jig down right now. That's it coming down there. These hard marks are weeds, and that one that's kind of moving up slightly, that's a fish. I'm having a tough time seeing my jig right now, so I'll bump up the sensitivity a little bit. See if that helps. Okay, now it's marking a little better. It's that dark mark up there, and that fish is going back down towards the bottom. So when you come out and get set up, uh, you're gonna wanna set the depth just deeper than you're actually fishing because for obvious reasons, if I have it set too shallow, it's not gonna read all the way to the bottom like I want it to, and it's not gonna give you an accurate reading on the depth. So if you get out to a new spot and you're unsure of how deep it's gonna be, uh, I would set it deeper than you would guess. So if you have it set at 60 feet, at least it's gonna give you an accurate reading, and then from there, you can dial it into just deeper than the water column it actually is. That way you're you're getting the reading you want, you're showing the bottom, you're showing the entire water column, and if, if you're fishing deep water, like when I fish for lake, tro lake trout at 100 feet or so, you can use this zoom feature to zoom in on the, the bottom part of the water column. So there's my jig, I'm zoomed in on the bottom right now, and that's a fish coming up to it. Jig falling down. Here comes a fish. Oh, I missed him. So I tried to set the hook fairly hard there. So these uh, purple and reddish marks up here, those are all air bubbles caused caused by that hook set. Hook set attempt. Because I missed. Can't really see my jig very well right now, so I'm gonna bump up the sensitivity. There, now I can see it better. That hard line there is a weed, I would guess. And these are fish down here, moving up towards my jig right now. He's right on me. And he turned around. There's another one on me, though. Got him. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll try to help you out if I can. Have a good one.